Welcome back to Blister, I'm Bill Sindelar. When the U.S. Army endorses a game, you have got to pay attention, or else. Full Spectrum Warrior is a military simulation that'll show you a whole new way of training. What kind of training? Well, ARMY training, sir, and that's a fact, Jack. Who's Jack? Alpha, move to that corner. You heard the man, Alpha, move out. Full Spectrum Warrior. This is the term used to describe the United States Army's goal of making the infantry a corps of tough-as-nail soldiers who are adaptable and functional in a variety of environments and conditions. From jungle warfare to urban conflict to law enforcement, a full-spectrum warrior will be capable of handling the most intense special operations anywhere, anytime. Spectrum Warrior is extremely realistic. Uh, the types of things that your squad members do uh, and the events that you'll run into are, are very much indicative of what a real squad runs into in a combat environment. And the, that's information that, that we're pulling down straight from combat veterans. FSW is a tactical simulation where players will command two fire teams made up of four men each. The team leader, the grenadier, an automatic rifleman, and a rifleman. There is also a squad leader that you, the field commander, will issue orders to. Full Spectrum Warrior is uh, an action strategy game. Uh, it's, it's kind of like a first-person RTS in a lot of ways. Uh, the difference being that uh, you're not in sort of a, an eye in the sky, you're right there in the trenches with your men and subject to the same bullets that they are. It's very realistic. It's very realistic. It's based on a uh, a tool that we supply to the U.S. Army uh, as a training aid, and everything that you'll be seeing in the game is uh, entirely based on uh, correct uh, U.S. Army tactical doctrines, doctrines and formations and things like that. To achieve the level of realism necessary to train the U.S. Army soldiers, the AI for Full Spectrum Warrior had to be the best of the best. But there's a lot more to the game than soldiers just returning fire. It was very important to the Army to have the squad act like a squad of real guys and also uh, to look like real guys because the Army has no tolerance for casualties so they didn't want the, the, the squad leader to think of his men as cannon fodder that he could throw away. So we need to make them look as lifelike and as real as possible so when you're sending them in harm's way you feel bad about it. When they're scared, there isn't a, a fear meter, but their, their shot variance start, starts to increase, their voice quavers, uh, the bad guys, uh, react in a very human fashion as well. They aren't just stand-up dummies. Another feature that makes this game unique, especially for the console, is the control system. The contact-sensitive control cursor has five circles that represent each member of the team, and the bright circle will represent the squad leader. Put them in open space and soldiers will line up in a V-shape. Move the cursor against the wall and the grunts will line up in a stack. Left alone, they'll fire back at their enemies, but you will also have control over their behavior, all according to U.S. Army procedure. When approaching a target, the reticle will allow you to tell the squads what to cover, but you'll also control each soldier individually to narrow their focus to a particular area, like a window or a corner. For anybody who's into the military, it would be instantly uh, appealing. But it's also extremely, extremely accessible. It's not a traditional game, especially for a console. Uh, it's not a traditional kind of user input system. You're not in there with a weapon, and it's not clancy. It's something else, but it's still, they're still cool here. There's still something about the game that I think is playable and will be fun. Take him out. Full Spectrum Warrior is the only game where you can be all that you can be, but it's no walk in the park. Don't take on this game unless you're man enough. Are you man enough? Are you? All right. It is time. It is time for a real thriller. Something bad and dangerous. It's time for Blister to get reloaded and look back at a game that set standards for all that came after that. Either that or it's just a nice time capsule from the 80s. Blister fans, it is time for Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> days when Michael Jackson was king and Mr. Bubbles was the crown prince. But few remember that even before he befriended Macaulay and before he became a father, Michael went virtual. MJ was one of the first celebrities to enter the video game world. And now Blister salutes one of Michael Jackson's influences on the video game world. In Moonwalker, you become the king of pop. Your mission? To go out and rescue children from scary monsters. <laughs> well, Michael's designed the game so that it's easy to save the children. You run to a scared child, you reach out and touch him like an angel. 
Oh yeah, then between saving children, Michael busts out his other kind of moves, dancing. Just like the thriller video, American Wedding, and My Private Life, you can solve disagreements with a dance-off. Toss down the hat, don the glove, and Moonwalker will make you want to scream. Oh, Jamal! Thugs and prostitutes pepper the game's six levels. If you get lost in the club, streets, or in the woods, you can rely on the various gorillas to point you in the right direction. Hey, wasn't that Elizabeth Taylor? The Moonwalker certainly got his share of moves, but let's not forget about the real talent in the family. Tito, I'm expecting a video game out of you, too. I know you can do it, Tito. I know you can do it. Oh, Simone! Hey! I really haven't had any nose jumps. This is my real nose. You say what you want about the King of Pop, but there has never been a better musician-endorsed game. I think not. And I played Britney Stan's beat many, many, many times.